Good evening. Welcome once again to Branko Broadcast. I'm Bob Branko on this lovely New England summer day, first day of summer here. We have with us Betsy Sawyers, who's going to talk a lot about Tupperware and other related items. Betsy, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Um, I just, um, I've been doing this now since 2001. I'm a totally blind Tupperware consultant. And I originally got into it uh, at a friend's party because I thought, well, this would be a good way to get some affordable Tupperware. And then I decided I really enjoyed it and I believed in the product. So, uh, and and I got into it at a good time because they were just transitioning to a web-based system instead of the olden days where you went and you turned in print forms and product replacements to a local office. So this allowed me to be way more independent, and I don't, I don't think I would have lasted if it had been under the old way because I've had, from day one, so much more freedom to do things the way I want to do it. And I kind of got my first introduction into that at my first party because I had most of my customers that were there were visually impaired. So the lady I was working under was trying to follow the old standard script and, you know, most people are going, I don't understand. What does this product really feel like? What does it do? So I started passing products around, and it just ended up being a whole big, you know, we were just enjoying passing stuff around and talking about how you use it. And she was really upset. She thought that I had lost control of the party and that it was a disaster. Well, it turned out I had, you know, 10 to 15 people telling me that was the most fun they'd ever have, and that's kind of how... I've tried to do the business ever since then. It's like it's, it's there are so many of these products that reading about it in a catalog just isn't going to do it. So I've I've had a lot of fun doing it that way, and uh, it really for several years I was I was working full time, so it was more of a hobby to me, and it was more of a take orders from friends and family, and maybe I'll get the occasional order on my website, do a few parties, but um, when I finally had to relocate down here a few years ago, 2013, I came down here for family and health reasons, I decided, okay, it's time to actually try to make a go of this as a business because transportation is very limited where I am and parties really aren't much of an option. So I decided, okay, I've really got to finally make this website work for me and it's it's always been a bit of a challenge because it's not the most screen reader friendly site in the world and it's taken a lot of trial and error to make it work for me but but I'm hanging in there with it. And I hope I didn't lose you. Um, okay, I'm still there. Okay. Um, but I just decided, okay, I've got I've to put this out there. And so I always had my link to my website in, in all of my emails. And finally, somebody noticed it on a mailing list I'm on and wrote me and said, oh, I've been looking for a Tupperware person and asked me about some products. And um, after she placed her order and arrived, got everything and she posted back to the list saying, hey, this was a great experience and, you know, if you, if you need Tupperware, this is the person to go to. And that prompted somebody else to contact me. And while we were talking, she said, you know, tell me what you got on sale because all I have is a note taker and I'm not – I'm not real good at going online with it for a site like yours. I said, oh, yeah, that's that's way tedious. So what I'll do is I will make you a text version of the monthly sales list so you can look at it on your own time and get a better feel for what we have. And I put it together for her, and I sent it out. And it took – it wasn't hard to do, but it, it was a little time-consuming to do it. And I told her, okay, if you see anybody who might want this, pass it along. Feel free and, you know, let me know if there's anything else I can do to help you. And it dawned on me, wow, wait a minute. I bet there's other people out here who might be interested in this. 
So I contacted the mailing list owner that I was on, and I said, can I post this kind of an advertisement? And they said, sure, why not? So I sent them an email that said, yes, I'm a totally blind consultant, and now I produce the monthly sales list in text format. So if there's anybody out there who wants to take a look at it, just shoot me an email. And within an hour, I had about a dozen responses. And by the next day, I was up to about 20, and I had a couple orders, and it's just really taken off from there. I, now I send it out every month to about 75 people, and I've also now started doing the full-line catalog as well, which they change every four months. Um, so, you know, people have access to this product in a way that they never have before, and that's been a real lot of fun being able to do that for people and to find that there was a greater need than I'd ever imagined. And I've met so many nice people doing it this way that I'm, I feel really blessed that I was able to do it. And I'm hoping to sort of branch out even more and hold online parties for people. And all that basically involves is I create a link for whoever wants to be a host and he or she can send it to friends and family and whoever might be interested, and they can shop for two weeks, and all the host has to do is sit back and earn free Tupperware, basically. So, Or, you know, they can get the text versions of stuff from me if they need to. Um, and, and I'm also kicking around the idea of maybe doing some product demonstrations blind-friendly on YouTube. But, of course, I have no idea how to do video type stuff for the sighted folks to make it interesting for them. So I still have to kind of think about how I want to put that together. But but it's it's been a lot of fun, and, and really the main message is think outside the box because you never know what little thing you think isn't interesting might really catch on. And, and I even thought about this when Bob asked me to be on the show. I thought, well, who'd really be interested in this? And then I thought, well, you know, you just never know. And if maybe I can help somebody else, then that's that's what I'm here for. So it's it's been a ton of fun, and I hope it keeps on keeping on for a while. Any questions? Well, uh, Betsy, I just want to tell you, I think this is terrific. Thank you. <clears throat> My name is Joni Leonard, and um, I've done some party plans. I was in Rubbermaid and uh, Faith Wofford purses a century ago, but um, I mean it was a long time ago, in the late 70s and early 80s, and um, my sister was in Tupperware. She can see she was in Tupperware for more than 20 years. Oh, wow. So we know about party plans. I do, and I loved it when I was doing it. But just to let you know, I had the same problem. My sister I was visiting her in Arizona, and she had a pampered chef party. And the lady was showing everybody the stuff. And all of a sudden, I said, wait a minute. What are you doing? <laughs> I said, I don't know what you're talking about. And I was very forthright, which people know that I can be. And I said, hey, I said, I want to tell you, I'm blind. I have to look at the stuff with my fingers. She was very upset. She never had seen a blind person before. But she learned a lot that night. But she showed me the stuff. And she was not... One of the best um, dealers that I've ever seen because uh, I've been to lots of parties and some can be wonderful, which sounds like you are. And, I mean, having these ideas out of the box, it's great. And um, with Tupperware, I think I went to their website and I couldn't navigate it. So what you're doing is fantastic, and I think that a lot of blind people appreciate it. By the way, just as a thing of interest, 
Um, I'm 76 years old, so that in 1965, I got married, which I'm divorced now, but I got married, and some cousins brought me a whole bunch of this stuff, containers. I didn't know what they were, (laughs) and they said, oh, they're Tupperware. Well, how do you use them? How do you... And they didn't know because they had gotten yeah. it from somebody else. <laughs> so finally, I learned how to burp the, you know, the old things, mm-hmm. burp them and everything. And uh, I used my flour and my sugar containers um, till they both kind of uh, bit the dust about three years ago. <laughs> yeah, it does bad. last a long time. Yeah, it is. On the front end, you think, oh, my word, that's expensive. But 30 years later, if you're still using it, then, you know. And and they're real good about replacements, and that's another thing I have the power to control. It's like, you know, if somebody tells me I've got a product with a problem, I'm going, okay, here, I'll get your replacement out to you, or I'll give you credit, um, because that's how we keep it going. And I I also try to be real honest. I'll put notes in in my my list that I send out about this is how I use this or this is what I wouldn't do with that. And, you know, if I think something's not going to fit your needs, I'm not going to push you to get it. You know, I'll always tell you. Bessie, I I have a question. This is Sherry, and I'm in British Columbia, Canada um, for now. Um, I have been looking for a Tupperware container because I've got about four containers. Yes, I'm still using them, but they're falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> I've had them for at least 25, almost 30 years, these containers. Wow. And I've got some some of those plastic cups, those old, you know, the Tupperware plastic 8-ounce cups. Yeah. And I've got right. two lids that I can find. I mean, that's, I don't know where in the world they are, um, but I use them a lot. Yeah. I take stuff with me wherever I'm going, but I can only find two of the lids. Oh, gosh. Others, but you're, you, you say you're in Canada? One, one, yeah. Um, okay. One lid, right now I am. Um, okay. I'm on a yeah. list. There might be, I think, one Avon lady, but I've never really, um, I've contacted her, but not about that, Um, because I don't know how she she would do it or whatever. I've never just, I've really never thought about it, but. Yeah, I mean, if you were, if you were in the States, I could just say, you know, I'll give you my email address and we'll. You know, figure out what it is you well, need. Well, we can send still email. I mean, we, yeah, yeah, I can, I can maybe find you know. somebody there who can help you replace some of that stuff. Um, but certainly, I can, I can help you in some way. Yeah. With your program, you can't go worldwide now with, um, with the internet. Surprisingly, no. That's that's one of the weird quirks about Tupperware. It's like I I can only deal with the yeah. U.S. and then they send it off to different sites. Because as long as you because initially years ago, as long as you put your dealer's number down, you would form a downline that could go indefinitely. Yeah, that's what I thought too. But if people go to my website, you know they're they're told that you you can only. Have order shipped to the 48 states, Puerto Rico, and Guam. Not even Canada. No, no, they they no. they've got a separate yeah, link for Canada. That's, oh, that's not. Yeah, that's really I'm disappointing because I've had interest from <laughs> Malaysia and some other countries, and that that, that is kind of I'm frustrating. I'm really glad to get out of here. Do you have distributors or uh, Tupperware uh, Canada that could? Uh, a sister? Yes. Yeah, I can I can uh, get her to the Canada side. Absolutely. Can you get credit for the sale? No. Yeah, that's what I want. No, but that's, you know, a sale. That's okay. <laughs> I'm hoping that call isn't so much. I'm hoping that's a person. How do we get on your list? 
Um, right back. You uh, can. My my email address um, is B E T. Wait a minute. I'm going to write it down. Okay. Oh, I thought I had a piece of paper here. Oh, darn. Maybe Bob can send it out to all of us. Yeah, that's fine. If you want to yeah, do yeah, that. I, yeah, and then, too, I do the list in two ways. People, some people like me to just paste it into the body of an email, and some want it as a text attachment. So tell me which way you prefer when you do contact me, because, I, like I say, I send it out both ways. So that's it don't matter to me which way you send it out. I'm not sure how others will feel. Okay, well, just think on it, and when when you when you contact me, just tell me. And it's, you know, if you decide you don't like it one way after I send it to you, say, well, let's try it the other way. That's no problem. Yeah, I haven't uh, seen a catalog of Tupperware for many, many years. Yeah, they have some interesting stuff. They've branched out into a lot of kitchen gadgets and stuff. Of course, they're oh, that's goofy that's expensive, good. but when they come on sale, that's when I snap them up. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Um, Can you give us some idea of what those gadgets are? They have like a couple different kinds of uh, choppers. One of them I call my lawnmower because to make it work, you pull a cord like a lawnmower. Oh, wow. And it spins the blades really fast. And um, Is it electric? No, okay. every, everything they have is, is, is manual. Uh -huh. um, so they've got you know a couple different kinds. The other one you you crank a handle to make it work, and then they've got now they've got a grater juicer uh, kind of fancy thing that I haven't actually gotten my hands on yet. So I'm I can't recommend that one way or the other. But it sounds like it's really cool. Uh, and of course they have the salad spinners, and uh, they they're trying to. They've been doing cookware for the last few years, but it's really super expensive. So I haven't messed much with that either. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Bob. Uh, yeah, Don, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I have a question. You know, I came in right when you were starting your recording, but uh, uh, you usually don't start that that early. But uh, but I heard the whole interview anyway. Um, yeah, my question is. Uh, do, uh, do you get into utensils at all? Um, we have a few. Your basic, you know, uh, spatulas and and big. Right, uh, right, uh, right. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We do have we do have a few of those. Yeah. Oh, okay. They, uh, um, what are you looking they, for, Don? I know. I was just curious uh, to know what she carries. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not looking for anything in particular. Just curious, that's all. Sure, absolutely. Uh, yeah, how long have you been in the business? Since 2001. Oh, okay. Yeah, you might have said that. Uh, I'm not sure, but... You did. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's quite a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I didn't start really doing it seriously until the last three years or so, but I've been at it for quite oh. a while. Yeah, yeah. And the lady who thought I did such a horrible job that very first party was out of it within three or four months. So oh. <laughs> I guess I was doing okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's the, that's how long dealers are usually in party plans. They sell to their friends and to their families, and they don't really look for other business, and then they're gone in about five, four to six months. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad I I hung in there with it because I met so many neat people. And I mean, I, my best friend of all times I met just because she needed a, a seal replaced, on, and I was the only consultant who returned her request. So you oh, can never know. Cool. On great. some of these stretch balls, they have these little rubber um, nipples on the top that you can pull out to um, to vent as you do. Well. One of my girls left the little rubber nipple in the top, and when she microwaved, the um, the lid buckled because it got too hot. Is that something that can be replaced? Yeah, sure. I can do that. Absolutely. Um, you'll just need to why did me. Why did they go to these rubber nipples? 
I I guess they just thought that that was uh, a better way to do it. I don't I don't really know. Um, they never really gave much explanation, but uh, in some they ways I like the a kind that would uh, be on a you know you just pull it up and it would stay up while you needed the vent hole. Right. I'm seeing far too many people forget to pull that little nipple up and the lids are buckling. Oh, yeah. 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 And in a way, in in one way, I like them better because they don't take as much room up inside the container because the, the lids have a smaller profile. But I can see where that, that would be a problem. But so far, it must be working well enough. But But I can always get those replaced. I have a question. This is Karen. I didn't come in till a little later. It, it wasn't that I, I I lost track of time and I was just having supper. And um, I wanted to ask, do you still have these section plates that, um, you know, for meals? The round I, I got ones? Some, yeah. Yeah, right now they only have the smaller of the two. That's what they call uh -huh. the luncheon plate that has the removable cold cup, but... They do bring the bigger back, the bigger one back occasionally. And all the, the I have a canister set which I've had for 20 years for flour and sugar and brown sugar. It was a uh, my stepdaughter was selling Tupperware and I got we got a whole bunch of stuff and we I got a, I think it's a six or eight piece canister set modular set. Do you still mm -hmm. have those? Oh yeah, we've got lots of different stuff like that. And those shakers that um. You can use to shake up uh, scrambled eggs or something. Uh, if you yeah. Do you still have those? Yeah, they redesigned that in the last few years, and I love Thank it. goodness, because yeah. <laughs> it used to flip off. I think I had an experience yeah. with that. Oh, no. Yeah, now this one screws <laughs> oh, on, yeah. and it's it's just it's a little yeah. bigger, and it's it's got a better contoured shape to it. I love it. It's way better than the old one. I remember back in the 70s, I had one for years. I love the measuring cups. Yeah, me too. Oh, yeah. This is Marcy. Hi, there. Go ahead, Marcy. Um, I have a question. I have a bowl, a um, salad bowl. It's green, and it's huge, and it's about maybe 30 years old. Okay. Do they still make a large bowl like that? Uh, yeah, they do. Um, in some of these cases... What I might need you to do, if you can, is get somebody. If you can't um, get somebody to read the the mold number that's on the bowl. Oh yeah, I got some of the. I got. Uh, I'm, I'm sighted. I'm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. If you can, if you can send me the mold number, then I can tell you exactly what I could mm -hmm. replace it with. Mhm. Mm I mean, it's still good, but because I. Yeah. Yeah, we. Yeah, I mean, everybody thinks it's brand new. <laughs> that's cool. Well, the lid's a little beat up, but that's okay. Yeah, if you need that, if you need that replaced, just holler. Yeah. Forget the salad. Put popcorn in it. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, I actually have a bowl of popcorn. Yeah, those are nice. Oh, yeah. Got to have a popcorn bowl. <laughs> oh. I mean, it looks just like salad bowl, but it's a different shape. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's most but, of the I, I love. Uh, I love the top oil. Is most of the stuff dishwasher and microwave and yes. freezer to oven? Well, not oven, but yeah. Yeah, they've got one yeah. line of oven. Uh, oven safe ones, but uh, that's fairly new, them. isn't it? Yeah. Well, they used to they used to call it Ultra Twenty One, I think, back in the eighties, and now they've re rebranded it Ultra Pro, but. It's neat. I finally got a, a, a couple of pieces of it, and I like it a lot. But, yes, everything, almost, I would say 95% everything is dishwasher safe. Mm -hmm. and most everything is microwave safe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wasn't, though. But Joey is right about when you go to a, a party, even though you can see. Mm -hmm. And so I end up in the back. So you you need to pass it around and feel it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm very unwilling to go to a thing that's supposed to be a party and everybody mm -hmm. else is having a good time, looking at everything, passing it around, and I'm not getting it. 
I won't stand for Absolutely, that. Absolutely, yeah. And plus, the, sometimes the I little demonstration. I, I, like. I usually say, excuse me, people, my hands and my eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I mean, if they want us to buy stuff, they better show it to us. Right. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I went to a party like oh. Joni said, but you got to describe it and you got to say all the things it could be used for. What color it is. And, well, yeah, yeah and, and when I had, when I had parties, yeah. I, I served everything in Tupperware containers so people could actually see it That's in action. Smart. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. My sister did that, too. Practical. Uh-huh. She did cooking parties and everything. She rigged all her stuff. And in those days... She had to make the deliveries to the people. I gather now that things are drop shipped to customers. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I can make deliveries to local people, but yes, everything else is drop shipped. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank God! No more taking buses. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. You got that right. Finally, you go. I have to go through two or three municipalities. Oh God. What are the new colors that are coming out? Oh Lord. <laughs> they they have some of the funniest names, you know. They'll call it, this is popsicle or this is oh, yeah. oh gosh, what's the other yeah. One? And and a lot of times I'm popsicle, going popsicle. Yeah. We'll call it sure. popsicle. Has yeah. many different colors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. The popsicle you are talking about is that 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 light orange. orange. Yeah. Oh, and then yeah. they have a couple of shades of blue and. Mm-hmm. Well, blue is good. I've got lots of blue stuff. So a lot of I love the gallon. Uh, the gallon pitchers, and at one time they actually came out with a two-gallon pitcher, which was wonderful. Yeah, I wish they'd bring that back. That was cool. Oh, I love their gallon. No, the gallon is the biggest one they have. So they still have the button that you press down, and then you can carry yeah. it in any way. And it's oh my god, I love that. Yeah, me too. They have a, a different shape one now that's more oval and slim, oh, yeah, with kind of a rocker type top. But I don't like it nearly as well as the as the standard good old push button one. Yeah. Was that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh god, I had mine for so many years. And I took it places with me. You could carry it any way, and it wouldn't spill. Mm-hmm. And there was the iced tea whenever anybody wanted it. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. And it kept everything cold. Oh, yeah. yeah it sure does. That's what I liked about it. Mm-hmm. I like the stuff that would be fresh because they, they had the best cheese things with cheese. It wouldn't get wet, and it would stay fresh for a while. Oh, yeah. Now. Yeah, I, I, I still have mine. I have one, too. So. It's like yeah. a meat keeper. She's meat keeper. Oh, I still yeah. have it. Yeah. Mine got stolen. Yeah. <laughs> I like the hamburger. Yeah, me too. The That's one of my favorites. <laughs> the press. Oh, the hamburger press? Yeah. Oh, I have. Yeah. Oh, I, I've had that forever. Yeah. Yeah, that was one of the first pieces I got, one, but too. Yeah. Better than the metal one that my uh, brother got me. Oh, please. Those, those the um, right, the freezer containers are square for easier stacking now, aren't they? Yes, they sure are. Do you have the automatic fill ice trays? Uh, yes, I do, and I love them, and I cannot believe they are not in the current catalog right now, which tells me they're probably going to be in one of the sales flyers. Because I mean, uh-huh. Reef, it's summertime. You gotta have yeah. ice trays. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah I oh, love I love things. them. They with the covers on them. Oh my yeah. gosh! How much easier is that to fill ice trays than it used to be? I mean, it wasn't hard to fill them, but try to carry them to the. I know the water would get everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All over the place. Yeah. Then I, I had a couple of women buy them when they were breastfeeding their babies because they, th- they said it made perfect portions of, of breast milk. Really? Yeah. Oh. yeah. So that you just you never know what people are going to do with a product. Yeah, I've heard right. that. I've heard that. Uh, well, I'll have you know that I have an automatic ice maker, so that's... <laughs> so uh, well, good. lucky you. Well, you're lucky, yes. I had one, but it doesn't <laughs> work. So I, back know, my... still. I have one. It's me. Yeah, yeah that's For right. For a minute, Don, you had me worried. I thought you had an automatic breast milk pump. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> uh, I 
uh, this all about a guy's maker keeps the Harveys going, you know. I was going to say, oh, Harvey on the rock. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Harvey you on the rock. You always have rock. Yeah, you're right. not a heist. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I, I have. I, don't have I never bothered with ice trays, so I. Good for you. Yeah, you're lucky. But I understand yeah. they're easier to do now. I think I've covers on them. I heard Joni yeah. say. Yeah. Yeah, they have they have covers yeah. and a little uh, flap that you flip up to to fill it. So you you wouldn't even have to take the cover oh. off until you want to. I've it. never seen that. Yeah, I've never seen them. I've never oh. seen them. I, uh, you know, I wouldn't have an occasion well, yeah, to even uh, 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 buy it uh, because I, uh, you know, I have an automatic yeah. make it, so. Right. Uh, but that's yeah, interesting. Yeah. I never knew that. You could make your own Harvey, uh, Harvey Frozen. There you go. Yeah. Oh. There you go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. Harvey Flush. <laughs> oh, I'm right. <laughs> 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 oh, <boy. laughs> I had something a long time ago from Tupperware. I gave it away because I wasn't ever using it. They used to have a popsicle, a budgicle maker. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. Put, yeah, put in the tray. Do they have them still? Yeah, yeah they, they still. In fact, now that you say that, they're not in this, this catalog right now either. But, yeah, they do still bring them out. That's weird. They have, I they think have, they bring them out. Um, are those the ones you fill up and put the tops on and make pops? Yeah, yeah. Out? Yeah, and then ah, you yeah. put them in a little yeah, tray. Yeah, oh, we yeah. had those. Oh, you put my son I, I never bothered using them, but I, I finally gave them away. Yeah. I, I Do they have it. a new line of children's toys? They used to have this little round thing that you could put different shapes. The shape uh, ball. That's so, that's mm-hmm. so yeah. popular. Yeah, we, st- we still carry the shape of ball. We don't have a whole lot of toys, surprisingly. Surprisingly, we've got the right now. We've got the little totem pails, but uh-huh. um, and every now that now and then they'll bring out the the Noah's Ark. But surprisingly, no, they've they've we've gone more into uh, you know themed lunch sets like Hello Kitty and Disney uh-huh. and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hello Kitty. <laughs> but yeah, do, my little girl Crush Creech loves little, Creech loves little kitties. Do lunch. That. Do the lunch boxes come with a uh, a, a hot uh, bottle? No, and they really don't. They don't even really have a lunch box anymore. They just have pieces. Like it'll come with a sandwich keeper and a, mm-hmm. a tumbler and a snack cup, and it might come in an insulated bag. Um, well, that's handy. That's yeah, fine. They don't have the hot box anymore. No. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. Do they still have the individual um, dinner plates with the dividers and the cover? Um, Every now and then, they've got a small one. Oh, I love those. Those are wonderful. Yeah, Mm -hmm. Yeah, those those are cool. I don't think I have them anymore, but they're great. Mm -hmm. And every now and then, they'll bring back the dining trays that are kind of like the cafeteria style. Oh yeah. Oh, I haven't seen that in ages. I never know they. I never knew they had them, but. Oh yeah, they do. Yeah, they're pretty nice. They used to have where you could put the cup in a corner. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I remember those. That was. Yeah. Anybody else before we wrap up? Well, Bethany, thank you very much. You certainly have uh, enlightened us this evening and kept us up to date. Do um, you have a phone number as well, uh, Betsy? Yeah, I sure do. I sure Why do. don't you give it out if you'd like? Uh, sure. It's it's 850 <laughs> Okay, let me repeat that. 850-745-5234. That's correct. Now I'll be on your that? thing, right, Bob? You'll include that with her email and yeah. all that stuff. And the email address. You're all the way down great. in Florida, huh? Okay, thanks. Yep, I sure am. All right. What part of Florida are you in? Fort Myers, not too far from JetBlue. Yep, that's oh. right. I started out in the Tallahassee area, so I kept that number because I've had that for so long. Oh, I see. Uh-huh. But, uh, so, but oh, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm in Fort Myers. 
But yeah, if you well, thank you, time. Betsy, for appearing on Franco Broadcast this evening. Well, thank you for having and me. If anybody you. wants to stick around, they're welcome yeah, to do so. I'm just going to end the call officially and say, have a good evening, folks. Yeah, thank you.